God, we're so close to the end of 2K22. We're nearly at 2K24. I thought the game, I thought 2K25 was going to come out by the time we actually got to this point. Oh, oh my God, I've already got my bags packed. We just got a few more episodes to go. Got some good action as always, of course. But only a few more 2K22 episodes to go. All right, first up, we got a triple threat match. We got Kaiser, the Butcher, Tyson Wolf, and Leonard Jones. And look at Leonard Jones there hanging back. Now, Leonard Jones made a bloody spectacle of himself recently when he decided that, you know, he didn't think he lost that Bloodshed Championship match. He feels that he was wrong, you know, he was he wronged by losing, but he busted himself open. So, in, on the biggest annual event of the year, he made himself look like a riot fool refusing to leave the ring. But he's looking to try and obviously redeem himself here. In this match with Kaiser the Butcher and Tyson Wolf, Tyson Wolf, of course, high flyer. I was about to say a big high flyer, but he has certainly bulked up at recent times. Far stronger than he's ever been before. Oh, big strike there, but Leonard refusing to go down. He's refusing to do a lot of things lately. Oh, there's that DDT. And then you got Kaiser the Butcher. A sadistic wrestler that'll tear you apart. Holy shit, Leonard! Sending Kaiser into the ropes there. Oh, fucking hell, Tyson. Well, Leonard managed to dodge that. Tyson's a sin. You know, has the makings of someone who I think could do very well. But Kaiser, looking at Kaiser, someone who I think would not just win a... The, if, if he won the world title, he wouldn't just win the world title. I think he'd try and put the... Form the former champion out of commission. Oh, there's a chair shot to the face. Kaiser, you know, it, it, it's it's like watching someone, like, you know, picking the limbs off a fly when he's going. Kaiser will slowly pick you apart. Then when he gets that torture rack in, it's a game set match by that point. Kaiser is the biggest of the three in this match. And now Tyson Wolf about to be sent into the barricade. Oh, and for added measure, they're booting in the head. Oh, Leonard there with a bit of extra spice on that Irish whip, sending Kaiser into the barricade. And into the ring post. Oh, got another weapon. Baseball bat time. Oh, Kaiser dodging it. And there's the beat down. Pushing Tyson away. Oh, arm drag right there. Leonard's got that bat. Oh, and another dodge. Headbutt there. And now Tyson Wolf being sent into the ring. And Kaiser closely following. Oh, Tyson staggering there. Leonard, being take Leonard taking Kaiser into the ropes. All right, what's he doing? Okay. Oh, I mean, you know, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, oh, Leonard, you fucking oh, you, you, your forehead. Plus, it's open so much, so much as breathes on it. Look at, I saw a big smear there. He is bleeding quite heavily. Tyson, going for a crossbody there. That added bulk is definitely going to make moves like that more effective. Honestly, it'll probably help him in the high flying thing because. If he can still high fly like he's always done, then he's got more mass to throw at his opponents. Of course, more mass does make it harder to fly. Oh god, baseball spat. Oh, fucking hell. Leonard is getting... Oh my god, smacked around like a baseball right now. Back in the ring there to join Kaiser. And now Kaiser's going to beat Leonard up. Leonard's not catching a break. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, bloody hell, be careful. We don't need a big E situation on our hands. 
One. Only a one gun, though. Okay, fair dues, Leonard. Fair dues. All right. Kaiser. Whoa. One in full control in this fa in this bout. And now setting up for a big clothesline. Boom. Nice shot there. Going after Leonard now. Leonard grabbing a hold of Kaiser, taking him over to the ropes. Here we go now. Look at this. Oh, I think he's going to go for it again. Look at this. That is not too bad there, honestly. Another baseball bat. Oh, right in the midsection. Look, Kaiser's back up, just enduring the pain. That's mental. Backbreaker there. And now Kaiser with that knee strike. Trying to get more blood to flow, I imagine. Tyson Wolf, meanwhile, is pointing out the bat. Yes, you idiot. We can all fucking see it. Are you going to use it at all? No, because Kais Kaisar's got you. Maybe don't pantomime like this is a 1980s bl blindfold match. Oh, Tyson's back up. Oh, there's the shot to the head. Oh, my God. Tyson got absolutely battered. Whoa, nearly took the referee out with that one. And look at that. Kissing those non-existent biceps. <laughs> okay, now that's just being mean. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I can't rag on Storms of the Worldwide when someone who's just got a actually pretty lean, decent physique, you know, is happy with it. That's just rude. All right, look at this going after Tyson Wolf now. Oh, oh, hold on. He's going for one of them surfboard stretches. That can be so painful. You're targeting every part of the body, but it is also really hard to maintain. Still, every keeping an eye to see if Tyson Wolf's going to break. Oh, and there you see Kaiser. Breaking it up there. Honestly, the surfboard, in terms of like the pain, might be one of the better moves out there. Oh my god, look at this. Okay, I'll never doubt your biceps again, Leonard. Jesus Christ. Landed with a lovely old suplex there. Alright, Tyson. Just targeting the legs there. And now going over to Leonard with the that beat down in another DDT. And Leonard's out of here. He is rolling all the way out the ring. So it's down between these two at the moment. And it looks like it's perfect place, perfect time for Kaiser to take the win here. Going for his torture rack. You're going to look at that again. Tyson Wolf being stretched out all the way here. Every part of the body being targeted. The arm, he's wrapped his own arm around his head. That, oh no, slipped away there. But the the pain was distributed all around. You had the arm around the, the head. You had, the, obviously that meant the arm was being pulled on, the legs were being pulled on, and the back was being stretched across the head and neck. Oh god, there's the baseball bat again. Oh! But Kaiser's not ignoring that. Or maybe he is. What are you made of, Kaiser? Oh, and the bat hit Leonard on the way down. All right, here we go. One, two... How is he still in this one? I'll give him this. That is stubbornness taken to a whole new level right there. All right, taking Leonard over to the corner. And throwing him, nearly swung him into the bat. And Tyson being sent to the outside. Oh, no. Oh, he's back up. Leonard, oh, cross body into the bat. Okay, I'll give Leonard this. This is probably the best performance from him that I've seen in a good long while. Why is it always at the end of the game that we sometimes see wrestlers pulling out their best performances all of a sudden? You'd think we'd seen everything by that point. You know, we're reaching the end of the game. There's the whole reason why we're doing finale. You know, we're going to be doing finale. You know, and then suddenly they pull out a, their best performance to date. Oh, nice work there. And what the fuck was that? Okay, Tyson Wolf with the beat down now. Taking Kaiser to the outside. Oh, look at that. Nice work. And now taking Leonard over to the ropes here. Irish whip. Ducking under. Oh, look at this. Throwing Leonard off. Big lariat. But look at Kaiser. Immediately, just like that, he's regained control of the match. Oh, my God. 
And now picking up that steel chair. And he's setting it up in the corner. Maybe we'll actually get to see it be used. Irish drip to the complete other corner. Oh, but Leonard getting away. Chest chop. And again. Into the corner. Nice strike there. Oh, face first with that face buster. Going for a pin now. One. Only a one count. Kaisar's far from done. Tyson Wolf, meanwhile. Tyson Wolf, meanwhile, looking under the ring. He's got a sledgehammer. Kaisar. Oh, look at that. He's going for all fateful there. The bloody snake eyes. And Kaisar's rolling, arriving around right now. Leonard's back up. And look at that! Right onto the bad with the tailbone! You can see Tyson Wolf there feeling a... How the fuck how the fuck did Leonard do that? That didn't even make sense. You saw it could that was a full-on connection! Oh my god, if he had gone out like that, was it like a bloody... <laughs> Did it take a while for it to affect it? Oh! Into the chair! Okay, okay, that's it, that's it. One, two, three... No, you are kidding me! That's the first time I've seen someone do that in bloody ages! Okay, Tyson Wolf now climbing up to the top rope here. Could be looking to finish this off here with the Eclipse. Here we go! The Eclipse! The Eclipse! Going for the pin. One. But Leonard's in the ring and he breaks it up. Irish whip into the corner now. Bringing Leonard up to the top rope here. And look at this. Tyson is determined to finish this off once and for all. Here we go. Superplex. Oh, the back of his head hit the sledgehammer. Tyson is dazed and confused, but he's realized the sledgehammer's here. But he just is swinging blind. Oh my god! That punch and that cross body has just shortened his lifespan, surely. Well, while Titan's busy smelling colours, you're going to have Leonard Jones and Kaiser going after each other. Oh, nice dodge there by Leonard. Now he's going for. Oh, look at this! He's got a bit technical here on us. That is interesting. Now you go for the bat again. Okay, a little less technical. Oh, cross the head. And again. Okay, Kaiser taking the bat shots. You could have killed him, Leonard. Oh my god. Oh, big strike there. Gonna have to check to see if Kaiser's not concussed or something after that. The oh Jesus wept. Yes, the oh Jesus wept because that's all I can think to fucking call whatever that was. Okay, Tyson Wolf grabbing a hold of Kaiser. Big strike there. Jeez. The amount of head trauma in this match is. Whew. It's a little bit disconcerting, honestly. Oh, look at this. Springboard. Great stuff there by Tyson Wolf. One, two. No. Oh, again, a kick out. And now. Look at this, Leonard getting back to his feet here. Oh, big strike there. And now, bringing Leonard to his feet. But Leonard with that headbutt for a reversal. Oh, I think Leonard was going to put this away. But Kaiser going for the tour track, but Tyson Wolf's already back up. Oh, you see Kaiser hoping he can get that back quickly while Tyson stays and confused. But Tyson able to break it up. You can see Tyson's still trying to get him, snap himself out of it. He's definitely a little out of it right now. Oh, onto the bat. But again, Tyson breaks it up. Guys are now going to try and deal with Tyson here. But Tyson, somehow still finding the fight to struggle here. Taking Kaisar into the corner. Going for the leg now. Big chest chop, and again. Here we go. Flatliner. And there's a baseball bat shot. And again. Oh my goodness. Nice shot there. 
Tyson. Oh, springboard poison runner. That's our second win if I've ever seen one. But Leonard's back up, ready for more. But a clothesline sends him to the outside. And now, look at this. Going for the leg here. Oh, nice work there. Oh my God, those punches. Oh my goodness. And now, nice take down there by Leonard. Leonard's got the chair. Oh, good God almighty. Oh my God, chair shot again and again and again. Oh my God. You can see the defamation of the chair. And now, oh lordy. Oh. But Kaiser still isn't going down. He's enduring some serious punishment here tonight. Okay, some punches to Leonard Jones. Now going for Kaiser. But Kaiser slapping Tyson. And now, look at that release slam there. Now bringing Tyson back to his feet once again. Irish whip against the ropes. But Tyson blocks it. Drop kick. Tyson now going up to the top rope. Could be looking to put it away once again with the Eclipse. Here we go. That's a bit close. Oh, it connects though. It connects. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Tyson Wolf wins. Bloody hell. In these final few matches, I guess it's good to try and make a good impression. And these three gave each other hell here tonight. Obviously, congrats to Tyson Wolf for winning the damn thing, but I can't take away from Kaiser and Leonard at all in this. Oh, okay, that was bloody nasty. Looks like he missed the head of the sledgehammer with that. So it wasn't as bad as I thought, but still hitting the, sh the wooden shaft of it will definitely have still knocked him a bit loopy. Still nowhere near as serious as I thought it had been. So thank God for that. Anyway, don't go anywhere because next up is our main event. It's time for the GHK Champions Challenge match. Oh man, Tyson Wolf leaving on a, you know, look, looks to be leaving 2K22 on a good last impression. Of course, you'll be seeing him and so many more at the marathon event BGIW Finale 3. Not the end of BGIW, just the season finale, if you will, as we transition from 2K22 to WWE 2K24. We do this every two years now. All right, here we go now. You can see the new world champion Donovan Hazard alright so here in the ring we got a few wrestlers here and there we got the new world champion Donovan Biohazard we've got the Z Division champion Kalagar off a successful defense of the title we have your new BGW GHK Trios champions by these two thirds of them in Bruce Cannon Stubbs and Rebellion then of course we have the ever Powerful bloodshed champion, multi-time bloodshed champion, the you know juggernaut, and then finally we have your hardcore champion, the lumberjack. And look at this right here. Oh, Donovan's one, definitely one to watch here, in my opinion, given he's the world champ. But he's going to have a hell of a target on his back right now. He's being targeted by Caligar. Oh man, look at all of this. Oh, what a German suplex. Donovan is so bloody powerful. Go for a pin now. One, only a one count. Rebellion, meanwhile, is a scary strong force as well. Someone who I think will no doubt be world champion in the future. Right now, him and Bruce Stubbs, both on the same team, are going after each other. I mean, there is no teams mates in a match like this. Lumberjack arriving in the corner. And now, look at this. Oh, Juggernaut grabbing a hold of Lumberjack. Going for a power slam. Meanwhile, two soak slam from Rebellion. One. Only a one count. Bruce Stubbs ain't going down that easily. Oh, look at this. Oh, drop kick to him. Oh, my God. And Jesus. Kalagar barely dodging that one. 
Meanwhile, there's a power bomb from Donovan to the Lumberjack. The Lumberjack with that DDT, though. It's all kind of anywhere in one of these GHK Champions Challenge matches, by the way. So, pinfall and submission can happen anywhere in the ring. The referee usually gets his cardio and injury a match like this. Look at this rushing over. See if it's over for Caligar. But Caligar with the kick out. Oh, Donovan. Ground hold of Bruce Stubbs here. Gonna go for a DDT on the side of the ring. Oh, that's rough. Meanwhile, Juggernaut. Release! Power slam. Nearly spiked him on his head there. And now, look at this. Power slam! And a German suplex. No! Caught there by Juggernaut with that reversal. Great stuff there. Meanwhile, Donovan trying to take out Rebellion. That's a tough. That's a tall order right there. Oh man. Bruce right now getting his ass kicked in the corner. Welcome to GHK, buddy. Oh, wait a minute. Donovan Hazard! Meanwhile, the Lumjack's pinning Caligar. The referee's not noticed. Oh, he's noticed now. Two. Oh, it's still not enough, though. Caligar's still in this match. Caligar's the reason we have the Lumberjack in the first place. But again, there's no friendship here in the, in the, G in the Champions Challenge match. Oh, my God. Look at this. Lumberjack leaning against the barricade. And into the side of the ring. And now, Bruce Cannon Stubbs. Look at the try and put away Juggernaut here. Going for the Gorilla Press into a moonsault. Going for a pin now. But there's a kick out. Meanwhile, Lumberjack being pinned by Rebellion here. But there's a kick out. Caligar reversing this big move. Meanwhile, look at another pin. The referee having to run around like a headless chicken. No, there's the kick out again. And now, guide me up to the top row, likely looking for a coup de grace. Meanwhile, Caligar signs the side of the ring. Coup de grace! I might be it for Juggernaut. Meanwhile, one, two. Another Jack kicks out. And there's a kick out from Juggernaut. Nobody eliminated yet. Climbing up. Spoon salt dodge there by Juggernaut. And now, Juggernaut. We're going to take out Bruce Cannon Stubbs here. But Bruce there with the dodge. And Spine Buster! Good lord. Here we go. Submission attempt to see if Juggernaut is going to tap out from the Boston Crab. Oh man. No. No such luck there. Standing Moonsault. Bruce is bloody athletic. No wonder he's on VGIW. He is crisp in the ring. Alright. Oh, nice back and forth here. Meanwhile, Caligari thrown around by the Lumberjack. And look at this back and forth. Oh, nice dodge there. Meanwhile, Rebellion. Oh my goodness. No! The Gamma Spike! He just used the Gamma Spike on the world champ! Who's getting pinned first here? Two. There's a kick out. One. Two. Oh, no one's out yet. Donovan there had to kick out of his own finisher. Oh, look at this, as if it couldn't get any worse. Look at this, Rebellion! Trying to wipe out the world champ. Oh, no. Oh, it's like an unholy trifecta. The sit-out tombstone. We might see the world champ go out first. One, two, three. And there we go. To be fair, taking those moves would be a very good way of getting taken out. I can't blame Donovan for going out there. Oh, now it's Caligar's turn, seemingly. With Lumberjack getting pinned here. One, two. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Caligar. Getting a hold of Rebellion now. Look at this. And stomping down the head there. There's the snake, guys. Caligar going for the pin. One, two. No Rebellion hanging in there. Oh, Caligar still trying to get rid of Rebellion, it seems. Look at this, going for submission hold, going for the cross face. Meanwhile, Bruce Cannon stubbed, trying to deal with Juggernaut here. The Lumberjack, meanwhile, back up. And Rebellion tabs out! Caligar's just made Rebellion tap out! This match is proper throwing into disarray now. Caligar trying to deal with the Lumberjack now. Caligar brought Lumberjack back into this world. He could damn sure take him out of it. Oh, look at the chaos and anarchy going on here. Big chest shot. And now Bruce Cannon Stubbs trying to deal with Juggernaut right now, taking him over. 
face first into the turnbuckle. And now, oh, I think we're about to see infinite gaze here. Let Frog talk to him by Aaron Storm. Here we go, infinite gaze version one. Oh, version two was the moon stomp, a moon stomp coup de gras. No longer in the games anymore. That's why it's just a regular coup de gras now. And version three is a us uh, like a oh my god. I'm a soul full away slam typing. There we go, there's Juggernaut eliminated by Infinite Gaze. And now, gonna take out Lumberjack as well. Bruce is on fire right now. Boom! Here we go now. Oh my god, he's not done. He's not done. Coup de gras! Going the extra mile here. One, two, three, no! Two and a half. Two and three quarters, but certainly not three. The Lumberjack's still somehow fucking in this. What will it take? Oh, my God. Spiking him on his head will certainly help. I guess if Keith Storm couldn't take out Lumberjack, why would anyone from Storm System Worldwide be able to do it? All right, look at this. Caligar's back in the ring now. Lumberjack, meanwhile, trying to focus on Bruce Stubbs. Oh, look at this. Going after Caligar. Big headbutt there. Now turning back to Bruce, right now the Lumberjack in full control here it seems. Oh wait a minute Bruce. Oh, German suplex reversed there by the Lumberjack. And now, up in the air, double handed choke slam, going for the pin. One, two, no, Bruce hanging in there. And Caligar, grabbing a hold of, oh no, Lumberjack grabbing a hold of Caligar. Oh my god, to the outside, oh. Right on the hip there. Look at this now, getting a hold of him, sending him back into the ring. The referee doesn't know which way to turn. All right, bringing him back up again. Irish whip to the outside, on top of Bruce with that one. Lumberjack is uncoordinated, unconventional, but damn, does he know how to get results. Oh God, here we go. Look at this. Oh no. Oh, this is it. Look at this. The rings of Saturn. And that's going to do it for Caligar, surely. And there's the tap out. There's the tap out. Oh, my God. Well, there we have it. It's down to Bruce Stubbs and the Lumberjack now. And you can see the back and forth now between these two. Look at this. Oh, Jawbreaker. Oh, my goodness. One of these two is going to walk away winning the Champions Challenge match. And are they going to get a world title shot? I genuinely don't know. I'm assuming so. Let me just uh, coordinate with uh, old Theodore Cornwall, the owner of GHK, just to find out uh, if we're still doing that, given how Finale is. Finale kind of throws a lot of the usual plans off, typically. Let's have a... Good old, uh, all right. Let's hope he knows how to respond to emails and he hasn't forgotten again. Oh my God, whoa, Bruce kicks out there. Come on, Theodore, respond already, yell coot. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, good, he's gone back to me. Let me just read this right here. God, he's not know how to type for shit. Not this time. Okay. Sure, Lum. Sure. Okay. So, Lumberjack or Bruce? Uh, well, that's disappointing. Um, I'm going to ask Theodore to consider maybe giving him, giving one of these two an opportunity down the line. You know, just so we don't assuage tradition just because Finale's around the corner. Anyway, look at that, Bruce. Because Bruce is ready to go here. He is telling Lumberjack to bring it on. Oh, my God. Are oh, you... Fucking pillock. You absolute. Oh my god. Absolute bloody done for brains. Like, what the. F that was not even. That was so far off. He might have screwed himself here out of this one. Here we go now. Look at this. Oh, he's, he's done. He's done. Oh, Jesus Christ! 
One, two, no. Somehow, some way, kicking out. And now, look at this. Over the ropes. Back on the outside. Remember, it's false count anywhere, so it doesn't really matter where they are. They could finish this match any point. Where the f what the fuck is he doing? He keeps throwing them all around. Oh no. I know what he's what gonna do now. Oh, here we go. The crossface chicken wing. It's over. Rev, turn around. Focus on your damn job already here. Bruce doesn't need to suffer any longer than necessary. There we go, there we go. Come on, Lumberjack, Lumberjack, Lumberjack. You can feel the tap. Come on. Oh my god. Well, there we go. If I can convince Fyodor, then maybe one of the first GHK world title matches of 2K24 will involve the Lumberjack. Oh god, well I should really watch what I wish for, honestly. But, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of GHK, and I hope you're wishing for plenty more. If you are, then you can fulfill that wish by hitting the subscribe button. And hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell, you'll be notified of future videos on the channel. We do VGRW, GHK, Kitsune Kingdom, Canadian Straw Promotions, and terrific Texas Wrestling. Uh, that and so much more content is coming to you along the pipeline, so join us as we make the transition from 2K22 to 2K24. Uh, like the video, comment your favorite match, share the video with your friends, and with that all being said, we'll see you next time.